Well guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all. Welcome back to finally Hard Tongue Family Farms. It's September 11th, remember those who were lost today. And I'm just coming up to the farm just to see what's going on. I haven't been up here a while. I got a couple errands run for my dad and we'll, yeah, we'll just see what's going on. I see we got like four trailers hooked up, so I know we've been moving bales. Bun at my uncle, great uncle Bun, I was working on the combine. I saw a couple shavs and pulleys pulled out. So uh, that's not always a good thing, but I mean, it's good that we're catching it before harvest. So let's see what's going on. Chicken, 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 chicken. I missed you guys. Oh, oh, got you. I got you now. I got you now. Where are you gonna go? Where are you gonna go? Got you. I like chickens. They're fun. There goes Pat. So what they're actually doing is they're actually going to be wrap, they're wrapping bales right now. The reason why we're wrapping is because we rented one from our neighbor. We rented a wrapper from our neighbor, but um, the reason we're wrapping bales is because we, we uh, say it's time to get third crop off. Honestly, a lot of guys are already cutting fourth crop, but we're only on third crop. We're usually behind. We have so much other stuff going on anyway. We don't need to get four crops either. Usually we only get three out of the year, but let's walk over to the wrapper. But we're actually, uh, wrapping bales because on Saturday we had our hay down for almost three to four three to four days or so but we ended up uh, it started raining when he was bailing so he just decided to keep bailing so we bailed them wet so and wet bales will spoil if you don't wrap them when you wrap them they actually create more feed value so we ended up running this Anderson wrapper from our neighbor and what this does I've actually never seen this work but I'm assuming what happens is you have this wrapper thing that goes like here I'm guessing it spins spins this way and also rolls the bale this way so it, as the bale's rolling it gets a full wrap around everything so never seen this work before but we'll see we'll see how it works oh he's even got a bale kind of a wrap bale grabber that's kind of neat like i said we've never wrapped before never wrapped anything so this will be kind of interesting to see you guys are gonna you guys got a treat for here from uh from me so pat and uh brian are moving bales back you're gonna see that here real shortly brian's gonna come back through with a the, the blue, good blue truck and a load of probably 11 bales, I want to say. So here he comes, and then we're going to go back and scout some crops. There's some of those bales. Good alfalfa bales. Let's see if Pat's coming. Let's go. I'm going to guess it's feeding time. Let's go eat. Alrighty guys, we're gonna go wrap some wet alfalfa bales. Let's hop on it and let's see. See, I've never done this before, so we'll, we'll see if we can learn something. What it is, it's mounting on the three-point of this 1066. It uses hydraulic and PTL power, I think. Maybe just hydraulic. And just spins it, spins it again, and wraps it. Alrighty, so we're going to wrap some bales. It's my first time ever doing this. So Alrighty guys, so I'm the one running the wrapper, Pat's in the skid loader, Brian is running the loader, feeding the bales, I'm wrapping the bales, Pat's taking the wrap bales away. What we're doing is, like I said, we bailed these bales way too wet, so we have to wrap them in order to make silage. So that's what we're doing right now. I'm walking over to go get some more. Holy crap. I talk way too fast. Whew. Anyway, I'm walking over to get some new wrap, more wrap, mainly because we're almost out. So it's in the brown pickup. That's what I'm going to go do. And of course, the brown pickup's buried. So we'll grab some, head back over and keep wrapping. So how this bale is working is as it's spinning around, it's also rolling the bale. So it's wrapping all sides of this. It basically uses that little plastic on roller and it stretches the plastic and gets it all nice and taut which turns those type of bales into those type of bales. All ran off hydraulics. It's not the easiest thing to run in the world, but it works. So now Pat's gonna come with the bale spears and grab it. About like that. Good. And Brian's gonna come set one on, a new one on. I'll wrap 
this around. Ryan will set it on here. Now we're good to go. But I'll come over here and run the valve block. Now to wrap. All right, two time lapse. So here guys, you can kind of see, this shows a good picture of it, but it's a really lopsided bale. The issue with this one was, um, there's a little wrapping mechanism that actually holds the wrap. is only like a foot outside of that uh, rotating be red beam that you guys kind of see at the bottom. And because that bale is so wide, it kept hitting that wrapping thing. So what we had to do, as you guys kind of see in that last time lapse, was we had to actually yank it on it and push the bale up out of the way so it can get wrapping. But yeah, that's kind of the worst thing that we hated about this wrapping thing was that if we had really big bales it wouldn't be able to wrap it so luckily my uncle turned the bale density down and we were able to um we we were able to bale a lot most of the bales we did were smaller bales and they were much easier but we did probably have 10 to 12 really big bales like that so but yeah so that was kind of the big reason why i showed that struggle of us really trying to figure this out Troops are mobilizing to get more bales. I'm gonna move this. Ugh. Go pick up those last two bales. Ryan is leaving to go get in the gooseneck. Pat's gonna go fill them up and the six pack. Devin Stahl is leaving with the quad to go get some feed. And I'm gonna go move two bales over here and then I'm probably going to more than likely Try and fix a piece we broke, more than likely. So I'm gonna try and put this bale on top of that one. We'll see, I'm doubting myself. Hey guys, guess what? I did it. I did it, I did it, I did it. I did it, Larry Seamus, we did it. I don't know what Dora says. Not bad, I'll take it. I impress myself sometimes. Now let's go see if I can fab them or rotate something. What we're using is an Anderson RB200 hooked up to our 1066. So our neighbors were renting. It's actually not doing too bad. It's got a little bit of quirks to it. That's what you guys can kind of see in the first videos we did, but honestly, it's not too bad. So Pat is moving. That is a big bale right there. So all the other ones we bailed, they're about five and a half big. That one's about six. That's about as big as we can make them. And man, that is heavy. Very, very heavy. So, 
I actually just put a thing on Instagram I'm kind of happy with, but I started, I put a thing called rapping, and then I started rapping. I was like, rap, my name is Ron. I'm not a con. Nicole, Brian, and Nick, y'all are not hicks. The Bales and Jay, they grow great hay. So, there's my rap for the day. What do you say, Bay? Woo! Alrighty, guys. Two full loads done so far. Two six packs and two flatbeds. 22, 38 bales here. So, not too bad. We're gonna keep going, we only got about 14 bales left. Oh, just chilling, waiting for Pat. Not much I can do right now. So, just waiting on the tractor. Watching some Welker farms. Actually, not a bad afternoon. I should go take the drone up, is what I should do. Ah, what the heck, might as well. Oh. Sorry, now I'm rapping all by myself. Got the New Holland rotor tractor and the skid loader with the clamp bucket on it. Going around and around in circles. You know that there's about 12, over 12,000 square foot of wrap on here. It's really sticky, it really binds this stuff. It's good stuff, so we'll keep rolling. Still wrapping away. One more barrel left after this one, and we're done. And I believe we're done right around 50, today at least. I marked the Sharpie note, that way I know. I wanted to make two revolutions, so effectively, there's about five layers of wrap that gets on each bale. So I basically put a mark after it gets one revolution. That way I can know when it hits two, I'm good. But the way I say five is if you look at it, right here, it only goes, every revolution only takes the bell moving around half this roll, so you get about two and a half per, per revolution. We're just about done with this one. She a butte clark looks pretty good now i'm taking the 10. we will put it away we're gonna go chop guys on the off chance that i have enough footage and that this is gonna be its own video hope you guys enjoyed this video of us wrapping some bales if you guys did enjoy that be sure to like comment and subscribe follow us on facebook and instagram at heart tongue family farms and of course guys as always Ta-ta-ta, for now.